All right, this video is called A Tale of Two Deadpools. Um, when I reviewed this guy and I mentioned that the X-Force comic pack was going to come out, on Cool Toys Reviews Forum, I saw someone had compared these two figures and they said that the only new things were the head and the hands. But after a better inspection of both figures in my possession, I've noticed that there's more than more differences than that in these two figures. So first we have the heads. The eyes on this guy are bigger than, I mean, the black part on this guy is bigger than the black part on him. If you look at the X Force's um, Deadpool, he has rounder shoulders than the Comic Pack Deadpool. Comic Pack Deadpool has a buckle on his neck, which I can't find on X-Force Deadpool. If you look at X-Force Deadpool's chest, it's more round and barreled. The gray part is really narrow compared to the red. So the upper torso is different. Look at the, the throat. And um, it's not just the upper torso that's different. If you turn the figure around and you look at the butt, <laughs> there's like some pants stretch in there. But there's none on this guy. Then let's take a look at the arms. As you can see. The wrists are different and you can take a, a better look at the, the shoulders too. It's the same design but it's not the same figure. Then we got the leg. As you can see. And then there's this pattern in the leg here. It's pointy on X-Force Deadpool but it's square on comic pack Deadpool and you get the legs and the feet so this is a br entirely brand new figure and this I'm guessing is a straight repaint from the Wolverine Origins figure the harnesses are different and as are the belts but that's um, because of the design that's obvious. Alright, so if you're a Deadpool lover, like I'm turning out to be, you need to get both of these figures. Good luck out there hunting. See ya.